Good morning! It's the Harry Golfer here with a different type of video. About a week back, uh, I don't know if you watch Genevieve Ling on the YouTube or not, Jen did a video and at the end of the video she invited people to send in slow motion swings and she and her coach Eric would, would assess them. So of course I did just that, I leapt on the chance. Now, what you're about to see is very ugly because we've been in lockdown, I haven't pitched a golf club and every single fault in the book has come back into my swing. Now if you've come here from Jen's channel because you want to check this guy out, well do a small YouTuber a favour, hit the subscribe, hit the bell and give us the old thumbs up. Helps me along, thank you very much. So I sent a uh, slow motion swing off to Jen. Uh, she and Eric had a look at it, gave me a reply and sent me the whole video so that I could use that video on my channel, which is what I'm gonna do now. So cutting out some of the chat that I did to Jen in my video that I sent her, let's go straight to the slow-mos and it really is pretty ugly. If, if you don't laugh at what I'm doing, well, anyway, just watch and watch Jen's reply to me. Right, let's see how ugly is ugly. Yep, there's the bowed left wrist and the collapse and the duck. And then we kind of like save it with our hands. Pitching wedge. Same again. Yeah, that's pretty ugly. We start with a sway to the right, collapse of the arm, and a sway to the left. Shows how much timing is required in this swing. Well then, Jen, that's that. Now, considering I haven't picked up a golf club in three weeks because of lockdown, that didn't feel too bad. But I'm sure the videos are going to show quite a few uh, mistakes in there. Well, I'm looking forward to your reply. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Cheers. with a bunch of you guys and so the second person who's getting their swing analyzed is Simon also known as the Harry Golfer so if you saw that little clip that Eric talked about and basically I want to talk about what you told me which is that you have a big struggle with straightening your left arm it's always bent coming up here it's not a bend here 
which obviously would cause a lot of difficulties with consistency. And I must say, both Eric and I looked at your swing and we both agree that you save it really well. So meaning past your backswing, your downswing actually looks pretty good. So what Eric and I talked about was, first of all, for you, he said it's actually a very easy fix. And I know that you're a big fan of Matt, so Golf Psychic. So um, he will actually be releasing a similar video because he's working on the same thing as well with Eric. And what Eric told me to tell you was, basically the drill that you need to do is, um, it's kind of hard because I don't have a pocket, but I know a lot of men wear pants with pockets, right? So what you do is almost you put your hand in your pocket and tug yourself back. So the reason why you lose a lot of your hands is because you don't use the hip to turn. So you don't do this. If you see, a lot of your backswing is literally just using your hand. And you see, even me, if I don't turn, if I just take my hands back, it will naturally start to bend. And I'm pretty flexible. So obviously, one as we were saying, one of the problems with doing that is obviously the lack of consistency and control. And I also realized that with your shorter irons, you actually go even further back compared to your 5 iron. Because you sent me a video of a 5 iron in your pitching wedge. So that could be why you're hitting it even shorter with your pitching wedge. So something you really need to do is put your hand in your pocket and push your hip back. Because that's the feeling that you want to do. That you want to feel in your, especially because you're in lockdown now, right? So you're really trying to just implement the feel. So you put your hand in your pocket and push your pocket back. And when you do that, you can actually start taking your backswing with your arm straight because you're using the rotation. So when you use your rotation and you just naturally, you don't push your hand back, but you naturally let the rotation bring your, take, take you through your backswing, you're gonna realize that your arm actually is straighter without even trying. So even your backswing even, at the top of your backswing, you might notice that it's shorter. And the reason why is because you're using your rotation and not your hands. Most of the time when you have a really long backswing, it's because people just use their hands. And as you can see in your front video, a lot of it was just taking a backswing with your hands versus using the rotation in your hips to turn, which is what you need to do right here. backswing which is what you're not happy with. So doing this versus doing this. So that's pretty much it. I think that's gonna help you a lot. It's something very simple but you're gonna be able to see it translate into your golf swing especially since you're in lockdown something you can do very easily um, I look forward to seeing how it helps your game obviously you can't hit balls right now but hopefully you can start seeing that your left arm starts getting a little bit straighter your back swing maybe gets more consistent and yeah thanks Simon for always supporting me and I'll catch you in the next one so there you have it basically after a couple of years of really, really bad sciatica, I've lost my turn. Now, I'm still playing decent golf because I'm timing my swing to get this club head back to the ball. But it's not very good and it's pretty weak. As you've seen with my short irons, you know, I'm reaching for a 9 iron at 112 yards and that sort of thing. But I do occasionally hit one full length and then I'm at the back of the green. You might spot a couple of those on my videos. So what I've got to do, I'll lift my jumper up here so you can see what my hips are doing. Now, the way that Eric described it, and funny enough, he did exactly the same for Golf Psychic. So there'll be a link below for Golf Psychic's full length lesson if you want to go and see that. So what I've got to do is to pull this hip away. So I've got to turn these hips and I've got to stretch now the body is two-sided, so as well as stretching this way, 
I've obviously got to complete the swing and stretch that way. So I'm going to be doing that th throughout the winter. Uh, every time I get up out of the chair in the office there, is I'm going to do these stretches to turn these hips and then turn them back again. Now, golf lessons aren't a quick fix. You don't have a golf lesson and turn into DJ and win the Masters overnight. You've got to work at it. And quite often you get worse before you get better. So I've got a particular timing in my swing that hits the golf ball. And when I start changing things, the timing's going to go. So if I'm turning my hips and stretching back, there's a very good chance I'm going to come back over the top. I'm going to be hitting left. Or I'm going to be hitting big slices. Or I get through the ball nicely, but my hands are a bit slow, and then I start hitting blocks. So I've got to expect that I'm going to start hitting the ball all over the planet, as opposed to down the fairway. And I've got to work at my game and work at doing this and find the timing for the new turn. It's not instant. There's no instant gratification in golf. I think that's why so few people actually go and have a course of lessons. Now, if you think of golf psychic, Matt, he plays off four stroke five back at the 7,000 yard markers. I play off six at 6,250 yards, par 69. So if you were to stretch the golf course out to a par 72, add in three par fives, then it'd be about 6,550 yards. So if Matt and I need lessons to maintain our game, not necessarily improve, you know, I'm hoping to get the five, so that is an improvement, but we're, we're basically maintaining our golf swing and maintaining our score. So if Matt and I need it, if you're off 18 and 19 and you want to improve, then you need it. Now my first lesson of spring training, because I have spring training every year, when you're up here in the Northern Hemisphere and it's dark by 20 past four, there's no golf after work. And the amount of golf we play just goes down and down and down and down and down until about the middle of March and then when it, it starts to creep up again. So every spring in the Northern Hemisphere, I have to rebuild my golf swing. So I always have a course of lessons in the spring. So I'm going to go see James middle of February to get my first lesson in. And at the end of that first lesson, I will do a second video for Jen, send that off and, and let her look at what improvement mm -hmm. I've made through the winter. She's going to be difficult because, as I say, there's not much daylight. Now, the other issue I've got to solve is in lockdown, the 14 weeks lockdown we had this spring. I'm afraid to say I put on a bit of lard. Now, I actually feel uncomfortable, so I've got to get rid of this. You know, I, I'm not a big guy, but I, I certainly can't carry a belly and bloody love handles around me and a pair of boobs so i've got to get rid of that as well so i've i'm gonna have a busy winter and i don't mind that i don't mind having targets to aim for so thanks for watching you're gonna see some strange golf shots over the next couple of months where i'm hitting it left right and everywhere hopefully we'll get better now the next video I'm going to make is, is it the second or the third? Anyway, we're coming out of lockdown, the golf course is reopening. I'm going to go out, I'm going to make a video. Now I'll be playing in a four ball. I'm hoping that the three other three guys I'm playing with, I don't know who they are. I'm hoping they'll be seniors. They'll all come off at the lower 12th green and then through the last six holes, I'm going to make a second video, do a bit more short game stuff, because I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing a bit of short game. There's nothing I enjoy more than throwing a golf ball and then trying to work out what club to use to get it close to the, close to the hole. So I'm going to do a bit more of that. 
rather than being stood on camping out on a green and just hitting 10 balls, I'm going to go and do different shots around the golf course. So thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give an old man a hand. And yes, I had to get rid of the beard. I was starting to look like Santa. Trouble is, my beard trimmer is so crap that if I let my if I let it grow too long, then the only option is to cut it really short. And now you can see why I've got a beard because I'm so ugly. So um, cheerio.